welcome to Mr. Tooth channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do now to keep us motivating make more videos. If you did please comment below I subscribed with your favorite topic you wish we make video about. Today we talk about common mistakes you do when brushing your teeth. Brushing our teeth is something we just do, but may not give much thought to. It's almost like autopilot. However, an incorrect technique can have big consequences when it comes to toothbrushing, and bad habits can be very easy to make and very difficult to break. Here are the most common mistakes made when brushing teeth at home, and which dentists and oral health therapists aim to educate patients about when they go for their regular checkup and clean. 1. Using the wrong toothbrush. Your toothbrush needs to be replaced every three months. If the bristles are frayed, broken, inflexible or worn out, they won't do a good job. They will also hold bacteria and food particles, yuck. Choose a toothbrush, preferably electric with a small round head, that has bristles that are soft or extra soft, hard bristles can damage your teeth and gums. Don't brush too hard. There are two styles of toothbrushes to consider, manual and electric. Choose what feels comfortable and makes you want to brush your teeth regularly. For more detailed information about indications of each type, please visit our channel. The size of the brush's head is important as well, especially if you have a smaller mouth. Brushes also have various sizes and handles. It is easy to get confused by all the various options. 2. Wrong brushing technique. Brush your teeth in a circular motion, contacting both the teeth and gum line. Hold the toothbrush at an angle of 45 degrees away from the gums and brush every tooth in your mouth. Be careful not to press too hard as this can cause excessive abrasion and wear to the enamel. Think massage, not scrub. Imagine brushing in little circular, up and down motions. Brushing seems like such an easy task, but you can really do some damage to your teeth if you do it wrong. 3. Not brushing long enough. Two minutes twice a day is the recommended duration for a tooth brushing session. But the average person's brushing time is only 45 seconds. Two minutes is recommended for a reason. Any brushing duration shorter than two minutes does not give the fluoride in your toothpaste enough time to do its job and attach to the enamel in your teeth. So brush your two minutes, set a timer, play a song. Whatever helps you stick to the two minute rule, your teeth will thank you for it. 4. Brushing too frequently. Brushing too much is just as bad as not brushing enough. Being too abrasive on your teeth can damage your teeth as well as your gums. Doing this as a habit can create sensitive teeth and erode enamel and damage gums. Using an electric toothbrush W that can sense how hard you are brushing would help you a lot. Also wait for at least 30 minutes after eating or drinking acidic beverages, such as wine or soft or sports drinks, to brush your teeth to brush teeth and wait half an hour after brushing to eat or drink. 5. Ignoring the inner surfaces of the teeth. Don't just focus on the outer surface of the teeth, the inner surfaces need cleaning just as much. By that, we mean the parts of the teeth and gums on the tongue or palate side where people don't generally see. We have been brushing our teeth since we were babies. Whether you realize it or not, you have a way of brushing your teeth without even thinking about it. You have a habit that has been programmed in you for years. That's years of missing the same spots every time. 6. Storing your toothbrush wet. The problem with storing your toothbrush wet is when you store your toothbrush in a confined space such as a drawer or cabinet. If it stays moist in a small space, it will become a breeding ground for bacteria. Make sure it air dries before you put your toothbrush away. Once you are finished brushing your teeth, the American Dental Association let your toothbrush air dry, upright, not touching any other toothbrush heads. Before you start brushing, rinse the bristles of your toothbrush thoroughly with warm water to remove any debris, and do the same after you have finished. The handle of your toothbrush is also quite important. Make sure to often wipe it down and keep it clean. Also if your toilet is located in your bathroom, don't store your toothbrush on the vanity. Bacteria from the toilet bowl is sprayed around the room if you flush with the lid up. 7. Not changing your toothbrush regularly. Goes without saying, the bristles on your brush become frayed and soften, losing their effectiveness in thoroughly cleaning your teeth. Change your toothbrush or toothbrush head in electric toothbrushes every three to four months. 8. Rinsing your mouth after you brush. Many people have the habit of rinsing their mouth after they brush their teeth. It is nothing more than a bad habit. Doing this washes out the fluoride in your toothpaste that is meant to coat your teeth and protect them, which you need so don't do it. 
some of you will still want to rinse your mouth out of habit. If that's the case just use mouthwash or mouth rinse that contains fluoride instead of water. Do not use water. 9. Not brushing your tongue and inner cheeks. The ripples on the back of your toothbrush aren't there for decoration. They are there to clean your tongue and inner cheeks, to remove bacteria, and prevent bad breath. You need to do this every time you brush. 10. Failure to clean between the teeth by floss. No matter how great your technique, brushing alone can't adequately clean between teeth. Floss at least once a day to remove plaque and food from between the teeth to avoid calcified deposit buildup. In addition to flossing, there are special toothbrushes that clean between the teeth where statistically more problems occur. For more information visit our channel. If you aren't cleaning between your teeth with floss or special interdental brushes, it's just like washing only half the plate after a meal, it's still dirty. Lastly, pay closer attention to your toothbrush and your brushing technique. And don't forget to visit your local dentist on a regular basis. And oral health therapist for regular professional cleaning for a fresh, healthy mouth. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please thumbs it up and remember to subscribe to our channel and hit notification button for more daily updates.